Hello, friends. Welcome to Shelter in Place. Scripture, inspiration, prayer. Take a sip of life. May my heart rejoice in your love, O Lord. Let me live each day anew. Psalm 111, 1-10, NIV Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart, in the counsel of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the lands of other nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established for ever and ever, enacted in faithfulness and uprightness. He provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. Lead us, Lord, into the desert. Lead us through the wilderness. Through this journey we will follow, for we long to see your face. In this time of sacred struggle, in this time of sacrifice, we rejoice, for we remember that you lead us into life. Gracious God, mercy is your name, redeeming love, you give your life away. God is gracious. So what exactly does it mean to be gracious? In general, the Hebrew word means to favor, to show kindness to an inferior, and to be compassionate. It can also mean to be graceful, winsome, or attractive. In the main, in the Old Testament, graciousness is an attribute of God as indicative of his favor and mercy. His long-suffering and general inclination of favor and kindness. Just as God is gracious, he invites us to receive from him his love that enables us to be gracious and, as today's song says, to give our lives away. Isn't that so needed in our world today? There is much that goes on that might prompt responses in us that are anything but gracious. But the love of God enables us to respond with His grace, love, mercy and kindness so that others are attracted to the love of God for themselves. Won't you join me in thanking God today that He is gracious? Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us, and because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.